Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And yeah, little grandbaby Tommy, that little tiger, he's really growling and prowling now. I told Tommy, we gotta get him on. We're gonna get him on. He's eight months old, man. And he is a big dude in a loose mood. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 162. Nat, up, sorry. Dow Industrials up 162. NASDAQ down three. S&P's up 17 and a half. Gold contract up $15, trading at $17.85 an ounce. You got silver up 56 cents, $24.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 91 cents, $83.87 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year up one tick, trading 130.19. The 30 year down eight at 158.01 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 147 ticks, 93.587. Euro at 116, the yen's at 114.28, and the British pound is at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. This is gonna be a replay, folks, of how we got to the highs and came off the highs. Now, this is gonna get really intriguing. And what it is is this. So the SP wants to test its high. I mean, it, it, the spy is right next to it right now. The high is 454.05. We hit 452.73. Huge contraction of volume again, but guess what? My take, we're going we're gonna to test it because you, you're way too close to it. The contraction of volume is really cool too, man. So check it out. So Monday, we did 62 million shares. Yesterday, we did 46 million shares. We'll probably do about 45, 46 million shares today. You're going into the high, it had 42. And 42, of course, was a contraction of volume beyond belief. Then you came downtown with 165 million. Now, the replay that I'm talking about is this that you had the SPY was up there, got into the highs, whereas the NDX 100 just never could make it on these counter trend bounces since, since we had come off the high. Same setup right now. What you have with the Qs, the Qs hit 376.56 today, you are at 375. The bottom line is that they made it over the swing. Now, the swing that we made it over yesterday is, is crucial. It's a 374.04. Now, I don't, I don't think we're going to get underneath that today. You know, we'll, we'll find out. I just, you know, if it comes down another buck, it comes down another buck. But that would be the benchmark that you're looking at. That's the failure. Volume-wise, okay, the contraction is also huge. Uh, last Friday, we did 40 million shares. Monday, you did 34. Yesterday, you did 29. We'll probably do 33 today. We're at 23 right now. Bottom line, you get the gist of it. There's more sellers than there are Well, there's not enough buyers. When we do a supply and demand equation, the bottom line is that it's going up, it's going light volume, and you got all the volume down the end. And this is, a, this is to me, this is going to be a, not only uh, we're in the correction, it's a monster trading range right now. I mean, and it's a monster, too, that, that trading range. Gold. Gold contract wants higher price. It's going to get interesting with gold, man. Gold is just getting, starting to get up ahead of steam here. You've done 166,000 contracts. You're at $15.20, and that's not the number, folks, okay? You know, bottom line is that what you're going to see here is that you have the equities that have been, you know, going up for a good, well, about a week and a half straight. Well, actually, it's two weeks. If we look at the GDX, GDX set in a low on the 29th of September at $28.83. That's at $32.85. And that's not going to have enough volume for an ABC structure on the way up today. They were, it was going into its B point, and there's 25 million, only has 11. That's not enough. Let me go take a look at a few others. Ashante was also going into it. That's not going to have enough either. Uh, GFI was going into it. Let's see. Yeah, we need more volume, man, on all of them. They, they're still up, but you need more volume. Let's see. GFI. Yeah, they all hit it, too. Okay, well, the bottom line, we're going to need more juice there. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. It looks to me like these babies bottomed out today. What we had out here is that the note and bond market came into its lows. You had tremendously lighter volume. Thus far, you rejected lower price. And, and you are at the bottom of the range. Um, you know, the 10-year, the we just, for the last three months, you went from 134.25 
We hit 130.08 today and rejected it. You're up 130.20. If we take a look at the 30 year, you're going to see the 30 year is set up the same way. 30 year, the 30 year actually is always ahead of the 20, I mean the 10, the, yeah, the 10 year note. Uh, so we have with the 30 year, 30 year right now is trading 158.03. And the 30-year had already come off its lows. That, that, had, that had hit a low of 157.03, goes all the way up to 160, pulls back, bottom line rejected lower price out here, higher volume, higher, higher prices coming at you. Now, good old King Dollar. What you have with King Dollar is this. What King Dollar has done here is that King Dollar is now in the lower trading range. And you know, when you, once you basically you break a trading range, you go top side, and you come back inside that range, folks. That is a bearish occurrence, okay? And the number to keep your eye on a king dollar is going to be 93,729. So we're only into it, you know, 100, 120 ticks. That's not a big deal. We get follow through tomorrow, it's going to be a big deal because what will end up happening then. You can't break them up. You're going to bust them down, and busting them down gets it into the price point of 89 on King Dollar. We got a question about the SPY. Could it be a three gap play? Oh, this is pretty cool, man. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I can. One is, what, what does happen is this. These gaps, I talked about this before. When you, when you, you have a market that's gapping all, like we gap down, uh, then we gap down again, then we gap up three days. That most of the time, okay, is, a consolidation. That, that's, that's how you can pick up your in a consolidation when you have gaps all over the place. Let me go look at the three Q's. And in the three Q's case, same thing. You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they're three gap plays. And, and the reason is that normally if you get a three gap play, what you do is you're going to gap down three times first, then you get back up. Uh, in this particular case, they're, they're just not big enough and wide enough. 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up 157. NASDAQ is down 5. S&Ps are up 16 and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.